Number 30. In how many different orders can nine students arrange themselves in a straight line? So there's a few ways to do this. First of all, nine people occupying nine places in a line here is really a factorial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many people can go here? There are nine people. I use one person. Then there are eight people. And there are seven. And this is going to be the answer. You're just going to multiply down. If you don't understand this math, definitely review factorials, combinations, permutations, and probability. But anyway, this all equals some big number, which I haven't plugged in my calculator yet. But this is the same as 9 factorial. Anytime we see the factorial sign, we know we're just going to multiply it down 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 in this particular case, or you know, 9 factorial equals all of this. This is also sort of a permutation as well because order matters. And so we could say 9p9. There are nine places. I want to put nine people in them, and order does matter. If I take Joe and Laura and switch Lo and, uh, Laura and Joe, then that actually creates another lineup. Either way, if we go to our calculators, which I'm about to go to here, and on this calculator we hit math, and we go to probability, we can see the factorial symbol here and the NPR symbol here. So if I want to use the factorial symbol, then I first want to hit the button 9, and then I'm going to go to math, probability, factorial, and hit enter, and 362,880 is the answer. I also could have done 9, math, probability, and PR, 9, pick 9, which will be the same value. So that makes answer choice D, 362,880, the correct answer here.